I love Roland. He was president of the board when I was there, and he got up here tonight first, and he thanked his wife, and Cece thanked her husband, and I don't have a wife, so I can't thank her. And then they thank their children. No children. Can't thank them. None that I know of. Uh, <laughs> And my mama, when I was 11 years old, she bought me, she, she paid $100 for me to become, honest to God, a lifetime member of the Gospel Music Association. When I was 11 years old, my mama bought, did, she did, $100. And I can't thank her because she passed away last year. And my dad, I thank him, he's here, but he's tone deaf, so he had nothing to do with any of this. <laughs> And so I just like to thank myself. And I'm it. That's all I got. I have no one to thank. No, I've always wanted to do that. I've just never had a chance. I love you, Bill Gaither. I would not be standing here today. Hey, bring me my phone because um, I got people I really want to thank. Um, if it weren't for Bill Gaither, you know. I, I'm, I'm so thankful. And Gloria, Lord, her blonde does not go to the root. That woman is brilliant. And I'm telling you, I love that. I love her. Uh, and and, and love learning about grace from her. Y'all, I was, I'm now a recovering fundamentalist. And I, when I joined her, I was just, I was to the right of Jerry Falwell. I mean, I was just out there. And, and, uh, and she just kept chipping away and teaching me about grace. And I love that. She gave me Henry Nowen's book, The Grace, uh, the uh, Life of the Beloved, and, and other books. And I'm so thankful for her. I'm thankful for Dwayne Ward. I'm thankful for Roy Morgan. If it weren't for Roy Morgan, who graduated from Liberty the same time I did, this guy called me and said, I want to book you. And I had no bookings. He could book a pork chop into a synagogue. He booked me and, he booked me and 43 concerts in 41 days with a Baptist Bible Fellowship directory calling churches and saying that you have him. And he did that. And I thank you very much. And Dwayne Ward and Lynn Kiesecker and uh, Paul Johnson, who's been on this journey with me, uh, and uh, Lynn Barrington, and of course, Mrs. Holland, my third grade teacher, who told me God liked me. And no one had ever, you know, there's a big difference between loving somebody and like, I knew God loved me. God loves everybody. But she said, God likes you. You know, there are a lot of people I love I don't like. <laughs> now we'll go to that well, one. Don't sit there like a bunch of pious gas bags. You know, you got one in your family. You'll cry at their funeral, but you don't want to go on vacation with them. That's who I'm talking about. And if nobody popped into your head, you're it. But, but God likes you. Mrs. Holland said so. And Judy Nealon, thank you. And, and Hal Spencer and Bill Carter and Barry Jennings. And oh my goodness, everybody. You know, I'm, I'm a turtle sitting on a fence post. And a turtle, when you see a turtle sitting on the fence post, you know he didn't get there by himself. And I have a lot of people to thank. Many of them are in this room. And I'm so honored. This is such an honor. I, when I first got the message, I thought, Lord, that's like putting whipped cream on cornbread. What are we doing here? But, but I'm honored. And I thank you. And by the authority he invested in me, <laughs> by the state of Tennessee, and on behalf of the board of directors of the Gospel Music Association Foundation, it, it is my honor to induct Mark Lowry into the GMA Hall of Fame. <laughs> and almost didn't hit his head. <laughs> I'm a fan of